Well, today is uh, June 6, 2020. Time is uh, 8.04 a.m. I'm almost out of here. Um, every time I read that restraining order from my wife, it really pisses me off because she lied. And we're going to get her on that there. Perjury. A couple other things that we're going to get her on. And, uh, What's so funny is she had all of this planned out to the T. That's the funny part. She had this all planned out to the T. She had a place to go. She got her new man. I'll be suing him, too, for interfering with my marriage. And I'll be suing Kara, too, for interfering with my marriage. And that manager for interfering with my marriage. Because I got that right. That's what my attorney said. So it's kind of funny how... Your wife, for 18 years, just wake up one day and hate you. She always told me she hated me, and she wished I was dead. But what really scared me is, uh, is when, uh, what terrified me very, very much <clears throat> is when she turned around and she tried to give me AIDS. She tried to give me AIDS on January 6th. She beat me up and stuff. That 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 really scared me a lot. So when she tried to give me AIDS and she's yelling at me, motherfucker, I want you to get AIDS like me and die, you son of a bitch. And wow. I never really thought or felt in my life that somebody would hate me so much as, as my wife did. And I've always been there by her side, 100%, really a 1,000%, been there by her side. It hurts a lot, you know. Someone told me the other day, oh, get over it, man. How the hell are you going to get over 18 years of marriage down the drain? A woman can. A woman can get over any any damn thing. A man in a, in a heartbeat, even 18 marriage. You know, she threw the marriage away. She lied to me for 18 years. You know, she tried to infect me when I find out past couple of years she had no remorse for life you know she's inconsiderate she doesn't respect nothing that somebody does for her but yet she wants all of these people to take her in feel sorry for her but when it's time for her to dish out some money oh I don't have it right now it's kind of funny for a person that's making $145,000 a year I don't even know where the hell the money's going you know, but uh, I can't wait for my day in court. We we can't wait. I mean, my attorneys cannot wait because she's going to be hit so hard and she's trying to rush for this divorce, divorce. And in Minnesota, you got to be separated for six months. So that's why she put the restrainer out on me so we could be separated for six months. But that's okay, though. That's okay. I mean, I'm not going to stop loving her. I'm not going to stop being in love with my wife. That, that that will never happen, you know. 18 years down the drain, you just can't stop loving somebody. That's impossible. You just can't wake up and say, well, I want this, I want that, I want to get rid of this. Like her own cat, Lulu. She tells Terry to kill the cat. How can another human being say, no, I don't want the cat, go kill the cat? He couldn't believe it. So she got a lot of people that don't like her right now, a whole lot of people, a whole lot of people. And I wish she stopped lying on me and start telling the truth for once in her damn life. Start telling the truth, Margaret Me Melillo, a.k.a. Oh, no, Margaret Me Kniff. She got so many damn names, it's not even funny. Start telling the truth. And this is freedom of speech. Start telling the truth. Stop lying on everybody. Stop lying on me. I've never assaulted you, never hit you. You have assaulted me. You have tried to kill me. You cut my arm in 2017. You did everything to me that you can do to me. I have never once tried to hurt my wife. Never once have I tried to hurt my wife. But she's a good liar, though. That's for sure. She's a good liar. Good liar. I'm on my way back to New York. We're going to keep checking to see what's going on with this case. They got my email address. 
So there's no problem on that. When it's ready, we'll be back out here. I'm hoping it's soon to get this over with. I hate people from Minnesota. I fucking hate people from Minnesota. The women out here are no fucking good, man. They know how to play the system real good. Real good. See, there's a there's a there's a thing in the in the CDC about disclosure. And in California, they did a law too that went in effect real hard. That's why she didn't want to go back to California. If this happened in California, she'd be sitting in jail on a five million dollar bail or a million dollar bail, with no ifs and no buts. But if I if I had if if, if I had gave her AIDS, I'd be in prison right now. I'd be fighting. And everything. That's so funny. If a man does it, he's through. If a woman does it, they get away with it. That's the fucked up part about society. That's the fucked up part about society. <laughs>